A goal down and an interesting uh, goal scoring milestone for their two top scorers, both on 96 league goals. Tony Cotty, 92 of them with West Ham, and uh, Graham Sharp, 96, all of them, of course, with Everton. Forrest get the second half underway, leading uh, with Neil Webb's goal. But fully aware, of course, that it's only the second half of great discipline by them that will produce their first win of the season. Everton certainly had more of the first half. But Forrest defended well and occasionally broke out, as we saw, to very good effect. can't get a taste of it at the moment there's Crosby from Chettles pass Milton. Matt Keith is doing some warming up at the moment for Everton Peter Reid again Safety to Sutton. It's Heath hoping to get in on the action. 12 goals last season. Gainer getting in behind Snowden. Chance for them here. And it's knocked away by Watson when Forrest were one foot only away from making it 2 0. Tommy Gaynor's determination uh, very nearly producing that second goal. Reed. Foster back pedaling. Walker gets it back safely. again there Walker going past a couple of challenges but then ran foul of uh, McCall well we ought to look again at that moment when Forrest very nearly scored their second goal but the action is so fast and furious here Gaynor doing really well here and just look how close it was to goal number two before Dave Watson got in Gainer nearly made it two. A call for Everton. The way the game's been going, you get the feeling that Forrest would certainly have welcomed the cushion of a second goal and might well need it. Nevin. Again, Walker preventing Cotty breaking through. Snowden. Will point and get to that? No. The rain earlier this afternoon has slicked up the surface a little bit. Webb. A little touch by Gaynor. And away goes Crosby. Until he falls foul of Snowden, who's going to be booked for that. He's got a real turn of speed as uh, Crosby. And... Snowden, in fairness, couldn't quite match it. So the yellow card for the Everton number four for that challenge there. Must be okay. It's Chettle with the free kick. away, holding off Crosby, finding Pointer. Watson. Thank you, says Webb, or rather uh, Pierce. Luff. Luff again, finding Crosby. 
Oh, kicked away again by Watson. That's twice he saved Everton, crucially, within uh, a matter of three minutes. Came off uh, Peter Reid, so it'll be a forest throw. Chettle. Hodge. Goal kick. Potty after this one. Walker getting in there and a corner given. The crowd were appealing for a penalty, but it was never ever likely to be that. Walker played the ball. In fact, it was again an excellent piece of defence by this 22 year old. Played for Peter Reid. Watson had a swipe at it, but the ball didn't reach him. Snowden turning it back again. And Sheedy makes something of this at the far side. Well, miraculously, he did until Brian Rice intervened. Evidence throw. Nevin in a bit of trouble, and I think might have to go off. gets it away I think Nevin is going to have to go off he had a really bright start here the opening quarter of an hour he tormented the forest defense he was victim of a couple of fairly harsh challenges and really we've seen little of him since Adrian Heath is on now for Everton finding Reed with that pass there up goes Chettle up goes Foster there's Hodge Comes out as far as Reed only. Chettle again. And now Webb, the ball conveniently at his feet. And now Crosby taking his man on. Oh, lovely play by Crosby. A chance for a second goal here. Saved superbly by Southall. Well, Crosby showed his growing talent there. Dummy passed his man superbly. There was knocked over by Nigel Clough, but a great piece of play there by Crosby. And a fine piece of keeping, of course, by Neville Sample. Well, it's terrific entertainment for the fans, this, even though there's only one goal in it. And Everton fans will say, well, it would be even greater entertainment if we could just get an equaliser. Sheedy playing it now for Heath. And then for Cotty to blast it across the face of that Forest goal. with a shot that didn't trouble Sutton Forrest goal kick Walker being harassed by Cotty Sheedy curling it in and Heath the substitution has worked and Everton a level Initially, some fairly sloppy work in defence by uh, Forrest. And Heath getting on the end of it. Slide rule there, just inside the post, beyond the dive of Sutton. And Everton at last, a level at 1-1. Heath, the man on the spot. 1-1. Time, uh, Forrest have made a substitution. France Carr is on for Gary Crosby. Walker. Now that should really, his car, that should really ensure a finish now. As Everton go looking for 
their 100% record to be maintained. Forest looking for their first win of the season. They're making their second substitution of Everton. It's uh, Kevin Sheedy who's going off. And Ian Wilson, formerly of Leicester City, who's coming on. Great relief on that Everton bench, you can be sure, with that Heath equaliser. Been a long time coming. Potty for Everton. Wilson. Boynton. Wilson. Heath. Reed. A foul there by Hodge. Uh, Pierce could be in trouble for kicking the ball away. For the last warning from Trilford Mills. Forrest at full stretch in defence now. Seeking to hold out Everton for another ten and a half minutes. Reed with the free kick. Chipped in there. It was Pierce who got it away. Snowden. for Forrest and again given to Heath he's got some pace about him but Walker stood firm and then gave it to Sharp and deflected over by Colin Foster for the corner That could have been a disaster for Des Walker after a really good performance. And Forrest aren't out of the wood yet. Corner as it came off Colin Foster there. Wilson with this corner for Everton. Watson's in there. Keith's in there. The little flick on by him and Cotty over the top. The amazing thing about that was that Heath, probably the smallest man on the field, was allowed to get the back header in. It's Wilson's corner. See, just a little flick on there from uh, Heath, who's only five foot six, and Cotty couldn't keep it down. Well, Heath, Heath certainly has pepped things up a little bit since he came on. Playing time added on at the end of 90 minutes. Oh, and Chettle's given it away to Reed. That could be a costly mistake. And it came off the head of Foster, behind for an Everton corner. Well, if the match is going to be won and lost, it'll be won and lost here, I would have thought, as the referee looks at his watch and Heath prepares to take the corner for Everton. Watson was in there. Chettle gets it away. Snowden, who's been tireless, being challenged by Carr. There's a good little ball there for Wilson. Stopped by Hodge. Carr too slow. It was Pierce who got that one away for Forrest. McDonald. Such tension out there. McDonald again. In comes Hodge. Now, maybe Forrest could break away. It's Tommy Gaynor. But the pass wasn't good enough to pick up Clough. Another look at the watch by referee Mills. Webb. Marvellous entertainment. And probably at the end, just about the right result. Forrest going ahead with that goal by Neil Webb early in the game and Everton dominating the match for so long but always looked as though they might be vulnerable to some of the Forrest breakaways. Everton had to wait until 17 minutes from the final whistle before Adrian Heath, the substitute, snatched the equaliser.